questions is where we get our continuous bags for our earth bag buildings. We looked at steel buildings, we looked at straw bale homes. Um, remember the log yeah. experience oh, too? We and the green, we were looking like that. Green block? Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Was but we finally ended up with the with the idea of uh, sandbag type of material when we bumped into the folks at Superior Sandbag, which designed a system that you would scoop up with a loader, you'd scoop up sand, and you were able to pour it into a contraption that actually extruded out these long bags. And they would use that for embankments and they'd use that for retention walls, those kinds of things. Yeah, it, was, it looked like a really neat little system. Our first idea was just to get uh, an idea of where he got his bags, but he said, hey, I've got some, I'll sell you some. So that was cool. So we managed to pick those up. Cost us around 1100 bucks, I think, for that. Yeah, after shipping and they, yeah. What, did they bring them up to the exit or something? Yeah, brought them right up to the exits on a, in a box truck, and we um, ran up there, picked them up, brought them home. And we got Bree's building done, and we got half of our portion of Garen's building done, a little bit done over here at the main house, and we ran out. Shortly after we purchased our earth bags, we tested it out on a small structure. Later, when we pulled it apart, we had to do it in small sections due to the heaviness and strength of it. Just taking this apart, this little tiny thing, is really difficult. And they have these big sections in here. I'll pull this out. You can see how tough this stuff is. It's just, it's just really, really tough. These sections are just, well, that's, that's Adobe. <laughs> We got just a few rows up into Garen's room and we ran out. And we thought, well, no big deal. We'll just get a hold of the superior sandbags again and we'll order another roll. They weren't around. No. No, we couldn't find them at all. They were probably out of business. Then we went ahead and looked. We just figured we'd be easily be able to find somebody online who was selling them. And there is one company that we all know of that sells them, but um, they're just so much high. There's The price is so high on them. And kind of the point of doing these buildings is to be really cost effective and not spend a lot of money. To think about too, the individual bags, they're all sewn up. They're about 24 inches long. So we're thinking about making a purchase of those. It seemed like a lot more work. Continuous bags seemed easier. Yeah, and we were used to them. We'd already done mm -hmm. a couple buildings with it. So we started thinking, well, let's keep going back farther and farther. And who produces the, the bags that companies buy that then breaks them into these bags? And that's when we, of course, we landed on China. They had uh, pictures online and there were these huge rolls, which is what we were looking for. Yeah, it was really cool. It's like a, it's like a continuous sock of a poly weave material that uh, weaves together. We thought, well, what does it hurt? We'll just go ahead and email someone from this online company and just see what kind of things they have and if it's possible. And that's when we bumped into a guy named Denzel Fan. And he got on, he saw what we were doing, he knew what we needed him for. Mm -hmm. He was excited about what we were doing. And he talked to his boss. They would do uh, as small of order as they could to sell to us. And so he comes back and he says, okay, I can, I can get you 20,000 meters. 20,000 meters. Can you imagine that? I mean, you'd have to take your shoes off several times to be able to count that up. Was it a meter is almost, what, three feet? And then you got 20,000, it's longer than that. It would be, of course, way more than we needed, but we thought, okay, then what we'll do is we'll just keep what we need and then we'll we'll sell the rest. It ended up being 10 rolls at a, around 2,000 meters each, which interestingly was about the exact same size of the bags that we ordered, the original bag that we got from California. We probably need about three of those rolls, so we would have seven to sell and make up some of the money that we spent on this. So we thought, well, that probably work out pretty good. We had to send 30% of the payment in and it's not like you could just, you know, do it on PayPal or a card. Mm -hmm. or... We had to go to a wiring service and have the monies actually wired to China. Yeah. It's like something you'd see in a movie, you know. <laughs> and it was a little bit scary because, you know, sure, we'd seen the company online and we had been emailing back and forth with Denzel. You know, we didn't even know if maybe this, maybe it wasn't legit and maybe we were just going to send this 30% into the black hole. So we knew it was a risk. We talked about it. And we decided... Let's do it. He contacted us. He says, hey, the, the shipment has hit the dock in California. We want our 70%. And thank you very much for your business. <laughs> We're going... We assumed they're at the dock. In L.A. Yeah, there was a guy on the dock contacting us. So we figure, okay, they must be there. So we sent the 70%, the rest of the payment. 
But what we didn't know when we purchased them is that there's this whole nother process. Not knowing much, we had to kind of get some help. Okay. Yeah, we got a broker, yeah. somebody, a broker that helped us to kind of get the, the US side of things, customs things working. It's not like going down to the grocery store and or, or going online and ordering something on eBay. No, you had to actually go through a customs process. We had to go through um, Homeland Security. Yeah. That was an interesting, interesting process. Well, like Homeland Security, Ooh. oh my gosh. The first thing they needed to do was question us about how we were going to use the bag. What were they for? Uh, we explained the process. We're going to use them for putting dirt in and so on. And they seemed puzzled by that. This was 2013. <laughs> so 20 tiny homes was not a real big deal. To get this process started, we had some uh, x-rays done and we passed with falling colors and we were able to start the yeah. shipping process. But it, it stayed there for a few days while they had to go back and forth and they have to pass these certain requirements before they can let the, the shipment then go on to uh, the warehouse. Will they drive out to the city, pick them up uh, and bring them on home? Oh, the whole, the cost ended up being, including all the stuff at the, in California, all that port stuff and whatnot, they ended up being about $4,400 for the 10 rolls. So it ended up being um, about $440 a roll. And it takes, it easily can do two rooms plus a little bit more. So we figure, you know, a little, about a couple hundred dollars to each do the, to each do one of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's a good it's a good deal. How long did the process take? About three months. Yeah, and then once we got them here, we thought, well, it'll probably take a year or so to sell those other seven bags. So we put them out on Craigslist. We had a video that we did on YouTube to let people know if anybody was interested. I'd say a good six months passed, and we hadn't heard from anybody. It just seemed like right after that, then several people were contacting us and needing them. So we ended up selling um, the rest of them, the other five rolls, and um, we could have sold them over and over again because there have been a lot of people that have wanted earth bags. For some reason, they're still not available. Mm -mm. There's not companies around available. We might do it again. I think I'd like to try that Hyper Adobe next. Hyper Adobe can be fine. It's a new technology. Wouldn't require, hopefully, wouldn't require the barbed wire between the bags. Yeah. So. And our, and our soil is a good soil that would work well with mm -hmm. Hyper Adobe. That about wraps up how we got our continuous bags. If you found another company or another way to do it, please let us know down in the comments. I know we would like to know as well as others, I'm sure. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you next week. Next week's video is going to be about stairs. We're going to play Stairway to Heaven. Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. Whoa!